I'm Cameron Hurst, I'm 12 years old, I live in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and I rock climb. So I started climbing when I was about two. It started when I was just fooling around in our home gym, trying to climb up halfway up our vertical wall. It accumulated into me climbing at like the gunks in upstate New York on like top rope and just fooling around and like doing a couple moves and hanging and swinging. And then it, I started leading when I actually tried to get to the top and that was the goal for me to get to the top. And then that just brought to me how I am now. Yeah, so uh, Cameron's my oldest boy and uh, it was kind of the, the first experience with youth climbing for me, up close and personal. Uh, so I was not really sure what to expect as, as he got into being, say, a lead climber. And it was quite remarkable, uh, you know, how fast he progressed and, uh, you know, by age 11 doing his first 514 climb. Um, it really blew my mind because as a climber of 35 plus years, I had never done a 514 climb. Cameron's a really focused person, uh, you know, for his young age, no matter what he's doing, uh, you know, he has calculated, he thinks things through. Uh, you know, I think that's why he can climb at such a high level and do hard routes quickly, is he can put that puzzle together so fast, um, calm his nerves and get it done. Yeah, when I get on a route, like, it, almost all the time I love the move. Like, each hard route that I do has, like, a different theme or a different move set to it. And I always love trying to figure it out. And there's a good feeling that you have when you've worked so hard on something. And then when you do it, you think back on how like you struggled at the beginning, but then you worked through it and you did it. And that's why I like climbing hard, because I like the challenge of it. Well, in the future, I see myself climbing for like as long as I am able to climb in my life. I, I think it's a life sport that you do. Even if I'm not a professional, I still want to like climb the rest of my life. I think it's like the best sport in the world because you control how you do and like the people and the places that you go, I love that. So either way, I'm happy with wherever it goes. This past August in American Fort Canyon, Utah, I sent Dead Souls, which is a super hard 14A. Cam discovered a climb called Dead Souls. He was actually told by some local climbers that it might be a good route for him to get on. So he went up, we checked out the route, uh, he worked it bolt to bolt and saw, yes, it was doable physically for him. The problem was it was a very short climb, steep, uh, close to the ground, and there was a very real chance of taking a ground fall. You know, no climb is worth getting your child hurt on, that is for sure. Uh, so. You know, we, we spent two days kind of sorting out the risk management. There were some local climbers who brought some bouldering pads up that we padded the ground, we padded the cliff where uh, he was taking some nasty falls earlier. And uh, we, we made the climb, you know, as safe as it could be. Dead Souls, as soon as you start off the ground, the holes are small and it's just compre like squeezing and just mentally you have to be focused on every move. It's like, you have to stay concentrated and it's big powerful moves the whole way up until the very end of the route. At the fourth bolt I had to skip it because the holes are so small I just cannot stop and clip it. There's like no possible way that I can do it. Which kind of was bad because I took going to the next bolt was the crux and if I if I would fall during that, I would come close to hitting the ground and that kind of played a big mental part into it because I knew I could do it. It's just that the one time that I got up to the final crux move, I thought about the move and that's what made me hold back on it. So that was the hard part, like overcoming, like not being scared about falling. Uh, Dead Souls was a, a real unique experience for us. and. Uh, you know, I think uh, we made the right decision in letting him go for it because uh, we took the safe, you know, all the safety measures we could to make it safe.